Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Middletown Community United Methodist Church. Again, this morning, we are having a few challenges from a technical standpoint, but we are thrilled that you have joined us here on January 16th, which is also Human Relations Sunday in the United Methodist Church. There are six special Sundays each year. And this one, because it is the Sunday closest to the birth of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., it has been designated as Human Relations Sunday. You'll hear a little more about that in our service, later in our service. But right now, on behalf of God, on behalf of the community, on behalf of the world, we give thanks that you have joined us for this time of prayer, this time of singing, this time of reflection, this time of meditation. Um, we, the invocation is rational God who created us in community. Thank you for sending your prophets to share your steadfast love with us. We gather on this Human Relations Day Sunday with a diversity of spirits and a diversity of spiritual gifts. Link us together. Link us together to build up your realm. Show us how to connect with all our neighbors and pour out your spirit on us, activating us to work in partnership with your people for the common good. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. There are a variety of spiritual gifts we have to offer, a multitude of them, and that's going to be the focus of this Sunday with love that never ends. And it's what is being the body of Christ. Again, this is the Sunday closest to the birth of Martin Luther King Jr., who said, we must develop and maintain the capacity to forgive. He who has, is devoid of the power to forgive is devoid of the power to love. Therefore, there is some good in the worst of us and some evil in the best of us. When we discover this, we are less prone to hate our neighbors. Our opening song is Lift Every Voice and Sing, which was once just considered the Negro National Anthem, but it is considered an anthem for all people who suffer. If you're able to stand, please do so and join us in singing. Lift Every Voice and Sing. we 
Please remain standing. Calvin Higgins will lead us in our call to worship. We gather today as a congregation filled with gifts of wisdom, knowledge, faith, and healing. We gather today as a family seeking a common good and bringing gifts of miracles, prophecy, spiritual discernment, spiritual spiritual discernment, discernment. prayer and listening to the spirit. We gather today recognizing that our diversity is powerfully connected through our one God. Help us to, to celebrate, celebrate and, and nurture, nurture the, the gifts that, that come through different races, races and ethnicities, ethnicities cultures, cultures, and, and traditions. traditions. Come, oh, Holy Spirit, Spirit use our, our gifts, gifts in partnership with, with you. you. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you. Thank you, Calvin. What have we to give thanks for this week? What are you thankful for? If you can't think of anything right off the bat, then take a breath. Ah. Close your eyes just for a moment. Open them again. Noting that this is the second Sunday after the Magi came to Christ. So it's the second Sunday after Epiphany. Throughout the Sundays after Epiphany to remind us Epiphany is when the wise men, the Magi, came to see the Christ child to say, aha, he is here. Aha, he has been born. Aha, I understand. So, I've given you some time. Are there things that you're thankful for? I'm thankful for those who are volunteering to bring forth this message, not only here in the sanctuary, but for those who may be watching live online. And I'm thankful for those who are helping with this, this service and thankful that I am here. You are here. As well as yesterday being the birth day of our former pastor and our member who is here with us this Sunday on vacation. And that is 
Pastor Claudia Listman. She's back home, yes. Currently, Claudia is serving two United Methodist churches. So we give thanks that she's taken a Sunday off to renew herself, because even pastors need to be renewed and to be filled and fed. Again, anyone else have things to, yes, Claudia, what are you thankful for? Claudia is grateful for her friends who uh, surprised her, a small group surprised her on her birthday, and she's grateful for her church family and friends. I know that she is loved dearly at the Clear Lake United Methodist Church and the Kelseyville United Methodist Church. So she offers her spiritual gifts as well as her love and her heart gifts to all she meets. Wonderful example, and she's shown me how to be a grandmother. I'm always thankful that my Sean has said that he is always grateful that his kids are healthy. May we all be grateful for the health that we currently have, because there are people that we know who are in the process of transitioning, or people that we know who are suffering. So when there is health, hallelujah, giving thanks to the health that we have. Uh, the more gratitude you have, do you know that your, your body grows with gratitude, grows in peace and in healing when you spend time in gratitude and in thanks? It does. There is healing when you are grateful. There is.